Hi, I am Professor D.K. Panda from Ohio State University. Together with my colleague, Dr. Hari Subramani, we have an exciting tutorial for you to be presented at Supercomputing 2019. In this short video, I'd like to introduce this tutorial and provide an outline of what we'll be trying to cover. The title of this tutorial is InfiniMan, Omnipath, and High-Speed Ethernet for Dummies. As many of you know, we are in a very exciting phase in the high-end computing. We already have systems like Summit, Sierra, Sunway Tile Light. Um, these are the top systems in the world these days. And we are heading into the exascale community and uh, the supercomputing systems are scaling rapidly and they are being designed with uh, multi many core architectures, high performance interconnects like InfiniMan, Omnipath or high speed Ethernet. Now, when we refer to a typical cluster, we mostly focus on the compute clusters. But in general, these days we see integrated high-end computing environments in many different organizations. Like for example, in addition to a compute cluster, we typically see a storage cluster, sometimes also multi-tier data centers. They are also integrated into this environment to locally a network or wide area network. In this context, the components of these clusters like especially the switches, uh, the routers, uh, and the basic building blocks are common across all these uh, environments. We're trying to put together such SPC systems. So the major question is how to build a balanced system using this kind of interconnects. And for example, the questions are like, what are the major bottlenecks in traditional computing systems? Why InfiniBand, OmniPath, and high-speed Ethernet came into the picture? What are their architectures? How do the communication stacks look like for these interconnects? What are the protocols leading to convergence? And especially for each one of these interconnects, what are their communication semantics, novel features, and network managements? We also have these days and from NVIDIA, NVLink and NVSwitch architecture, which allows multiple GPUs within a node to be connected in a very tightly integrated manner. What is this networking technology? What does it offer? or building high performance dense GPU systems. Similarly, we also have the Open Fabrics interface um, or the Open OFI trying to lead to this new interface called Leaf Fabrics. So the question is, what are these features and how it is going to help me? So in a broad sense, as these modern networking technologies are coming up, there are a lot of questions in the community to understand these network technologies, their features, and trying to find out their strengths and weaknesses. So this chart provides a very broad overview of all the different protocols which are available. And of course, in the tutorial, we'll be going through each one of these in, a, in much more depth. In the left-hand side, we see the traditional ethernet starting from one gig to 100 gigi. And when InfiniMan came into the picture, this is where a lot of new concepts like RDMA, user space protocols were introduced to provide the best performance. So what are these mechanisms? What are these user space protocols or remote DMA mechanisms? And now with the OFI, we also have this OmniPath, um, OmniPath uh, adapters. So how exactly it differs from the InfiniMan? And in between, of course, we have a lot of different protocols. So the question is, what are the differences between each one of these? So to put together all these, um, to, to answer all these questions, we have actually put together a very nice tutorial here. And this is the kind of outline we'll be covering. We'll start with a very high level introduction and then go into more details on why InfiniMan, OmniPath and high-speed ethernet came to the market. What are the kind of the traditional communication bottlenecks being used? What are the kind of convergence and features taking place? Uh, we'll be going over um, InfiniMan architecture, its communication model and semantics, its features. Then we'll also be talking about high-speed Ethernet family, the IWARP, and alternate vendor-specific protocol stacks. We'll also be focusing on the convergence technology, which is the Rocky. And then we'll also be providing an overview of NB-Link and NB-Switch architectures. We'll be going over OmniPath architectures, its communication model and semantics and the features. And then towards the end, we'll try to provide a high-level overview of all the different products and installations, the market trends, and we'll also be trying to show some sample case studies and performance numbers with low level communication level numbers and also 
MKI level performance numbers. So to complement the, the knowledge in this tutorial, we have also put together sets of hands-on exercises. These exercises will help the audience to, um, to log on to a remote HPC cluster and get a first-hand understanding about the impact of advanced networks on the performance of applications running on these systems. Uh, for example, um, for InfiniMan network, uh, the audience will be able to log on and try to run different kinds of benchmarks um, and try to understand um, the how to measure latency, bandwidth. Similarly, how do you benchmark MPI level performance and how do you correlate the low level performance with the higher level performance and uh, many such more uh, exercises. So the tutorial will be held um, on Monday, November 18th uh, from 8.30 a.m. to 12 p.m. in room 201. And uh, more details on this tutorial are available from this URL. So we hope that uh, many of you will be able to join us uh, for this tutorial. Um, if you have any questions uh, before the conference, uh, please feel free to send a note to me or to my colleague, and we'll be very happy to answer your questions. So overall, again, uh, we look forward to seeing many of you uh, for this tutorial at the Supercomputing 2019. Thank you.